All right, so I want to make just a quick little video of the tanky. Um, obviously, his biggest kryptonite is definitely, excuse me, remaining still. <laughs> so that has been a big focal point is having him remain in behavior and not being responsive to things happening around him. So when he's in his stay, if I'm bringing him reinforcement, I'll say good. I'll walk towards him, bring him food. If I'm releasing him with his... Okay, I don't want him to hear it with his release word, which is O-H-K-A-Y. Um, I want to come all the way back to him. Because I know that this is a behavior that's super problematic for him, um, I want to really show him that there's value in remaining in that, that behavior. Um, so again, good for impulse control and helping him settle down. And a little bit of spatial independence because he's super um, needy with wanting human attention. He's not as worried about other dogs which is nice um, but he definitely gets a little kind of like a little bit whiny sometimes if I don't pay attention good boy stay enough attention to him um, or if I'm too far away from him, him or if I'm just doing something totally that is not involving him good boy stay good so I'm gonna give him his reinforcement and then I'm going to neutrally release him good good stay Okay, very nice. Um, so I still have him on a long line. That's something that when we get together, I'm gonna continue, okay, continue him having on. Um, just as a, a little bit of a backup, he's a puppy. Um, he's super excitable and I don't ever want him to be in a situation where he's in danger. So I really, really wanna build up that success in always getting him to come back to me. So what I'll do is as he's sniffing and running around having a good time, I will call him over to me. So, tank. Yes. Pay him. Okay. And then let him go back to what he was doing. So, by doing that, I am creating that muscle memory and that value in him coming and checking in with me. Tank. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, I don't know what that is. Out. Out. Good. It's dog food. Ew. Out. Yeah, good boy. Sorry, that was... Nope. We'll move away from that. That's really hard for you to leave, huh? It's dog food. That's someone, I don't know if someone threw that up or what. Um, what was I saying? So, oh, you're right, Tank. You fat boy. Again, I want to create that muscle memory and that value in him coming in and checking in with me. So, I myself have to earn him finding value in that. Oh, he's peeing. I'm going to not record for a second. Um, are you done? Come on, we. When he comes to get something from me, he finds that to be enjoyable, and there's not the conflict of tank. Yes, good boy. Okay, of him every time he comes to see me, or every time I call him over to me, it's not taking him away from a fun situation. It just means, hey, I'm gonna go go get something really good, and then I can go back to what it was that I was doing. Aside from you going and eating the random dog food. Nope, too far. Yes, good boy. <laughs> You're so goofy. Okay, come on. Hopefully that made sense what I just said there. We got a little sidelined by that tank. Come. Nope. Come. Yes. Good job. Good boy. Oh, gosh. Okay. So I have the e-collar on, what is it, a level six. Um, and I'm just giving him a little tap tap. So there when he ran and then he remembered the food and he didn't come when I first said it. I said that no, and at the come the second time, I just did tap, tap, tap until he turned back towards me. Come on, bub. Good boy. Very nice. Hey, sit. Good, stay. No, nope. sit, stay. And again, he's just a puppy, so sometimes he's gonna make mistakes, no big deal, we're just gonna help him through it. Stay, good boy. I really want to follow through with the things that I ask, stay. So if he gets up out of his day, then I will just tell him no, put him back into it until he's successful. Good job, buddy. We do have some doggies coming up over here, so I'm going to be a good dog person and just pick up the leash. He got up out of his day, so I'm going to take him back over to it. No, sir. Sit. Stay, good boy. Okay. Thank you. Good job. So again, what I was saying before where I really want to create that 
success. I want him to earn his freedom through success. If he randomly decides that he wants to go run after these dogs and he's so quick that the e-collar isn't fast enough while he's in this learning phase, out, go boy, yes. Then I have that leash there as a backup. So I want to not ever really use it. I want it to be a last resort because I want him responding, okay, to those verbal cues and then the e-collar cues and last the leash cues because if we're doing awfully stuff with them, then, you know, the leash won't be there. So we don't need to want him relying on that physical stuff. Good job, bud. But he's a good boy. Big silly puppy. Typical lab. Using his nose all the time. Good job, bud. Good boy. He's super responsive. He knows he's going to get good stuff from me. Um, it doesn't have to be that forever, but right now I really want to build that that reliability and that desire to come check in with me. So that way when we get more advanced and we're actually relying to, on him being completely off leash, it's not a fight to get him to come over to you because he already finds value and joy in doing so. Nope. Thank you. Good job. I know where you're going. Out. Yes. Good boy. I'm gonna purposely take him